Today I'm going to show you how I've been performing solo shows with a virtual backing band. I'm going to show you how I got the band into the studio to record audio and video of the songs, how I created backing videos of that content, brought it into VisiBox, and how I used it to perform shows that kind of feel like a magic trick. <laughs> If you're new to the channel, welcome. This is where we talk about audiovisual performance, that is, incorporating video, images, and cameras into your on stage or live stream performances. We've created a Mac and Windows application called VisiBox, which makes that super easy. But the concepts I'll be talking about today could also work with other software. First, let's take a look at the end product. Uh, Orbit was my band back in the 90s. We played a ton of shows and toured all over, but we don't do a lot of shows these days. I put together these solo shows where I brought in a virtual version of Linda and Paul from Orbit, uh, and I've been playing shows, and they kind of feel like seeing Orbit play. We've got the band on a screen on stage. Uh, I can control all that from my foot pedal, uh, and I'm performing with a full guitar amp and electric guitar, all my pedals and everything. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a rock band playing on stage, but it's really just a solo show. The response from people has been kind of amazing. Uh, it, they say it's like a magic trick. They say it's, it's uh, like seeing a full band play, um, but there's just, it's just a solo show. So it's not kind of what we expect from that. Um, and so I wanna make a video about it, show you how it was done, and kind of walk you through what it took to put together this show. So we've got the band on screen, I'm performing in front of the screen, but it really gives the illusion that they're actually there. I mean, people kept saying like, are they on Zoom or something? It really kind of felt like they were coming in remotely. I created uh, some footage of them just sort of standing around on stage. I've got it actually playing here. That also gives this illusion that it's like a remote uh, or, or something like that. We're so used to kind of seeing Zoom and people sort of milling around on Zoom that it gives that feeling too. And it really uh, add, added much more of a, a dimension uh, to the show than I, was, than I was even really expecting. I've got a MIDI foot pedal on stage. Uh, you can kind of see down uh, in front of me in this footage. Uh, I'm using this, this is the uh, soft step 12 step pedal, which is really nice because it's got these eight uh, easy to access buttons along the bottom, and, and then you've got five more up top here. And I'm able to start and stop, up, down, songs, uh, all that from, from this, this pedal, and I've still got a whole, whole bunch of uh, buttons that are left over. Take three! Linda's not monitor! So we recorded all this footage at a studio called Big Nights in Lincoln, Rhode Island, and we set up to record live in the studio. Linda and Paul were set up in front of the camera while I was off camera recording scratch tracks to help everyone track where they were in the songs. Drums and bass were multi-tracked so that I had tracks that I could mix later. We recorded without a click track and kept everything very live in the studio without any overdubs. For songs that started with guitar, Paul would click his sticks through the intro because essentially my live show was an overdub. Uh, but once the mics were all set up and we got good sounds, we were able to rip through a ton of songs in one session. We actually recorded 19 songs during our eight hour session. Meanwhile, uh, Kevin, our camera guy, was running the camera, capturing 4K footage of each song. Uh, in the end, we had 13 tracks of drums, three tracks of bass, two tracks of backing vocals, uh, and my scratch vocals and guitar, which didn't end up getting used uh, in the end. I brought all of this into Logic and created relatively live sounding mixes, a little heavier on the room mics than I might normally mix. 20 tracks. Uh, so we recorded 20 tracks in Pro Tools here. Um, and uh, I'm actually gonna take this and mix it at home, uh, but we've got 20 tracks of there's a track for kick and snare and overheads and room mics. room mics and several bass tracks and all that kind of stuff. So it's all the same stuff that you would do recording, you know, a band, uh, um, except that we're just going to 
kind of mix it a little bit differently and uh, and and kind of ultimately sort of do more of a stem kind of a mix yep. uh, and then use it as the backing tracks. A lot of people, uh, when they're recording these days, especially like pop music, they'll do stem track mixes uh, so that the you can get backing tracks if you're gonna be appearing on a television show or even more and more people are just touring with backing tracks. So Logic also has a feature for soundtrack work, which allowed me to bring in uh, video and sync up the recorded tracks along with the video. This had the advantage of letting me watch the band perform as I was mixing them. I could then bounce my mixes both as stereo audio files and as stereo video files, uh, adding the audio that I mixed to the video that had already been recorded, taking out the old scratch uh, audio that was on those video files, and voila, we've got the videos ready for live performance. So this is the VisiBox project that I used for my latest show. Uh, as you can see, uh, each song has just one video clip. If you're not that familiar with VisiBox, you can drag in a whole bunch of clips, uh, video clips, image clips, uh, webcams, uh, to create a whole visual experience. Uh, but in this case, the visual experience that I want to give people is just one video playing uh, for each song. I've also set it up with a new feature for VisiBox, which is the ability to add background clips uh, to your projects. So rather than in the past you could have a background image when you stopped playing your, your uh, videos maybe between songs, you had a logo or something that went up on the screen uh, between songs. Now you can make that a video that goes up on the screen between songs. And I actually just recorded this video of Lynn and Paul kind of standing around waiting between songs. And that's what plays between songs is them waiting. So basically it creates this experience where there's the band on screen the whole time. Uh, and as I uh, switch things, uh, as I as I start to play, basically it's the same uh, video, but they're actually playing. Let me do that now. And when I click and play, as you can see, they're playing now. So this Paul's playing. Linda will come in in a moment. There she is. Um, and uh, and yeah, that's how it works. So as I said, I can control it all with this foot pedal. I can uh, up and down a song here, uh, and I can hit play, uh, and it immediately, they start playing. They start clicking off the song, I start playing guitar, and uh, off we go. I can also stop here. Um, but by clicking this again, it will start the, the, from the beginning again. There were a couple of times in my show uh, recently where I missed the click off. Paul started clicking and I kind of missed it. But I'm able to just hit that again and the click will start again and, and, I'm, and I'm good to go. Um, I should also show that uh, I've got this little pre-show, which is just a black, an image, a, a small image of, of, uh, of, of black. And, uh, and that basically uh, turns off the, the screen. So before the show, I didn't have to have them uh, sort of milling around uh, until I actually started the show, at which point I stopped the video, if that makes any sense, and then it went back to the backing video, which is the band milling around. Oh, the other thing to know is uh, each of these uh, videos uh, in, in VisiBox, you know, each clip you can uh, click on, if you right click on it, you can choose sort of what happens at various stages uh, of the clip. Um, you can choose what happens when it ends. Normally, VisiBox defaults to looping videos, uh, but I have this set up so that when each video ends, it will cue the next song. Uh, another recent um, uh, addition to VisiBox is the ability to um, select multiple things and edit them all at once so you can, if you wanted them all to stop at the end uh, or just freeze frame um, or uh, start the next clip, which would actually start the clip in the next song. But as it stands, they just cue the next song. Uh, and so when uh, this song, Wake Up, finishes playing, um, I can talk to the audience or whatever. Meanwhile, uh, it's queuing up the next song and all I need to do is hit start 
on the next song and uh, and we're good to go. That's what happens in the background. By having the band kind of milling around in the background, it means that the band are on the screen the whole time. Uh, I can, uh, you know, select a song and when I hit play, they just kind of start where they are and, and, and play. And when I hit stop, they're still there. It gives this very kind of eerie experience that like they're on Zoom or somehow kind of uh, participating in the show remotely. Um, kind of eerie in a cool way. Uh, but anyways, so I started this whole thing as a bit of an experiment. Uh, I sort of thought, oh, this might be neat. Uh, but it turned out to be actually really much cooler than I thought it would be. And the audience's reaction was just more than I could have expected. Uh, people were confused by what was happening. It was a very immersive experience uh, for the audience, which was kind of the goal of VisiBox when we started creating it. Uh, but it was just really felt like this great payoff to see it to see it working. You know, it's a little weird replacing musicians on stage, uh, but in this case, you know, this is a band that doesn't really get together much. Um, and, uh, and there are a lot of uh, people out there I know that perform with backing tracks. If you're a, you know, bedroom composer uh, creating stuff, you're playing all the instruments and you'd like a way that you can play out but sort of have a band-like experience, this is a really great way to go. Uh, and, you know, when we talk about a virtual band, I think about the gorillas and uh, these sort of animated band kind of experience. Um, you could do stuff like that with this. You could do stuff that's much more edited than what I've done, where you actually, you know, maybe you're playing all the instruments and you create a video that looks like this, but it's actually uh, a composite of a single person playing all the instruments. It was just something I wanted to share. Uh, we've got this channel, we try to uh, help people to understand what they can do uh, with this kind of technology. Subscribe if you like this video, like this video. Uh, once you subscribe, hit the uh, bell icon and we'll notify you when new videos come out. And of course, uh, VisiBox has a free 14-day trial. You can go to spaceage.tv, that's our website, and uh, just scroll down and download the app. It, it's for uh, Mac or Windows. Uh, and you can try it free for 14 days and, and see what you can do with it for yourself. Um, you know, post comments below if this inspires you, if it reminds you of anything, uh, if it gives you ideas for what you could do. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. Um, of course, you can download that trial and, and see what you can do with it for yourself. Uh, and we'd love to hear all about it. Uh -huh.